Hello everyone, welcome back to the new episode of City Bus Manager with me, Tops. I'm wondering why these these buses not automatically reassign themselves. No. Uh, I thought I had was that yesterday's buses. So I need to auto assign them, but then take off the ones that aren't on the correct buses. Which is line one and line twos. I thought I literally set this all up. Let me get this set up and then we'll be back. And we're back. So, apparently we had issues with um, everything lining up to, uh, correctly. Uh, and it automatically selecting. But everything is now done. Uh, all the small buses are line threes. So, we currently have two line threes left over, which we did last time. But now we have two line, uh, two, the longer buses left over because we had a line two that could go on after a line one. Uh, so that made more sense to add that bus there. And then we'll have two spare, technically. So we have two spare on both lines. We can carry on playing. Um, things I've done between the between episodes is i've redone the line three to go the correct route this way i thought the line three went this way but that's the line four so we still have the routes in for the line four the bus stop's still there uh but we obviously we need more buses to be able to run a line four which we can't do right now so we'll go carry on all our buses should be going into the town center We've obviously got a line one, a line two, and a line three, all starting at 5 a.m. And they're slowly starting to fill up as well now, which is great. Uh, last episode, we also uh, uh, unlocked a double-decker bus, but it's not the double-decker bus we are wanting. Uh, we've got the Omni City. I'm looking for a number. It's like a four-something or another, uh, which obviously we need 300 points to do. We're getting that way. We're doing well. Everything is upgrading. I did end up cleaning. I did remember cleaning all the buses last night. Um, for some reason, I thought I'd messed up things, but that was fine. Free bus, free seats is one of the ones, and service centre wait time is one that we're working on. So obviously, we can go to service employees, and I can't hire anyone else because we don't have any more areas to do so. So let me just quickly pause the time. So I can expand this hallway to the length of here. Um, I will add a new kitchen onto this side, which will go into this area here. If we build a kitchen here, and we'll do it seven long. We'll stick that in there. We'll add one, two, three, four fridges and three vending machines. I then get a nice little seating area over here. So a chair. So we'll kind of do what we've been doing before with the others. And then we can do it this way as well. One, two, three one two three and then we'll just stick the tables in the center here so they still have somewhere roughly to sit down um and that's that kitchen done we'll add our office on this side so obviously we're gonna go cross by six and down by that will go across by seven we'll add the wall back in here there we go um we'll add the door in here and then hopefully i can get some standing desks so we'll do one two three and then we need to go one more wide to add this extra bit in because i kind of want to do the officers somewhat different than what we previously had we get our two seats there two seats there 
we'll add a little table so they can sit down and we'll make it quite nice and we'll make it so they could have a chat with each other Ooh. Get these face in the correct way. And then it kind of divides the room up here. We'll literally divide the room up like this. So they've got kind of a separate workspace like here. Um, we'll get rid of that one. But they've kind of got a separate workspace. We'll add in some plants just in these areas here. So they've got some plants to sit, to stand, not to stand, to sort out. And we'll stick these down. So they've obviously got places to sit. So that's another office, which means we can now employ more which is another one of you. Bus drivers, we need to employ a lot more bus drivers. So reliability, we want friendliness and somewhat reliable, but as long as the friendliness is high, that is good for us. Um, we'll send any trainees on training. You're already on training. Um, yes, anyone advanced at the end? No. So that is that, perfect. Um, obviously, we want to get a lot more of these buses, which I may run down here and then we'll move these over here. So we'll move the fuel bays over somewhat, just so we can get things set up. In fact, we've not actually looked at our finances. So, this was the weekend, obviously. It was very low. We made 43,000 on the day, on the Monday, which is insane. Uh, we've made 20 more thousand than the previous week. The pre well, the previous Friday. Uh, so this is just going well. Loans-wise, we could we could repay loans. We don't have enough money to repay loans, to be fair. Um, but that is that. So if we were to build streets, it would go this way. Um, that'll probably be these buses, and then this will be double-deckers. Um, but we want to be able to obviously have more, some fuel areas. And that won't work as I was hoping. So let's remove that. And that. Um, should we literally just stick the gas stations like this? And I was so close to getting another one there. Eventually, we will be moving that further along. So, if we get a third... Uh, so, that'll be our four gas stations. Petrol stations, fuel depots. That'll be literally everything. And then we just get a load more mead, small bus stop, uh, small bus parking spaces down this way. And that'll cover all the small buses we need. That'll cover all our fueling needs. And then we'll have all the extra space up here to do parking spaces. So that'll be, that's right. So we need, so we've got enough spaces for, for one, two, three, four, five. So that's seven, nine. We've got nine more of these CTO buses we could fit. Um, however, if we go to Bus Fleet, Marketplace, CTO, and go up to nine, we need 81,000 for those buses. But we would also need a lot more bus drivers. So while we're doing that, we'll just make sure we can hire the ones that are somewhat friendly. Uh, any trainees go straight on to training.
will actually train the novices as well. To train the novices, train, train you, train you, train you. Do you have any more novices? You're on training anyway. So that's perfect. How many staff will we have now? 39. So how many buses will we end up having? So that'll be 14. That'll be another 14. So 14 and 14 will be 24. Uh, oh, 14 and 14, 28, plus another 9. So that'll be 37. be 37 that we would need, end up needing, which is quite a lot. Um, and we only have 30. We have 39. And um, was that how many we needed? Yeah, we've got more than what we need already. Uh, however, we do need more service employees. I don't know how long people are waiting. But we've got another research, so we've got wear and tear, which is perfect. We still need that 300 to get the double-deckers. How much do we actually have? We've made 32 on the day, so we've already made back what we've... How much do we spend today? 71,000, so we've not made what we've spent today. But we are on route for all of that. Um, buses are starting to come back. For our start at the end of the day. So, or not the end of the day, the end of their shift. So we need to start getting these cleaned. Uh, and also buses getting fueled up because some of these are running low. Okay, so we can get these all done now. Um, but everything is going perfect with all these. This one has another route in five minutes. It needs to go out. So we'll get it cleaned and then we'll send it back out. Perfect. We're literally waiting for buses to come back in, get cleaned. That one needs a fuel. So that's okay. So let's just let the bus driver come off. We'll pause it, clean fuel. We've got so many buses coming back in. But it's better to have more buses than we need than not have enough buses at all. So you've come out, so clean. Clean refuel. You're already set for that. You're set for that, you're perfect. Nice. How are these bus stops doing? Do any of these bus stops need updating? Everything seems to be in the green. That one probably will need doing soon. So we'll preemptively do that one. Apart from that, everything is working fine. The line three is absolutely rammed with these smaller buses. But that is literally, we're not putting any bigger buses on. We could run them every 10 minutes. But that means editing the timetables a lot more. And I've kind of already had to edit all the timetables. We will have to increase the bus network, which we will be able to do when we install the line four, which we'll be doing in the next video. Um, but apart from that, everything is running perfectly fine. Let me just make sure everything that's here. Yeah. So all the buses that have come back, I think I've cleaned and already sent out. Five minute wait times is not bad at all. Let's have a quick look. There's another one there that I can then I can hire. Oh, 
We're doing well. This one is going back out in a few hours' time, actually. So that's enough time for a clean and a refuel. Clean refuel. Going back out on a journey now, which it's running late for. It's not good when it's running late. We'll try and edit, uh, meniate that then next time. So clean refuel. This one just needs a clean. Doesn't need a refuel. So we'll just clean that one. More buses coming back in from the route. This one has a technical issue. Well, it looks like it might have a technical issue, so... It's fine, actually, which is great. We don't really want to have any other issues. Uh, enough bus seats on. Bus driver friendliness is going up. The service centre wait time has gone up. Uh, well, gone down, which is perfect. And the free seats. Any other service employees we can hire? Friendliness? Yes. So we literally have one more person we can hire for that. Uh, we may end up having to maneuver this so we can get, extend that a bit further down. But a 20 minute wait time, not that many complaints, but a lot of people are buying weekly tickets, which I like to like to hear. You need a clean and a refuel and also a wash before you go back out. Is that you going back out of service? Yes, it is. And I've forgotten how much I needed to get the buses, so I'm going to have to check that again. So Cito. 81,000. Now, I could probably get the last loan of 40,000 to get these, but I kind of want to start paying back the loans. So, we might have to run a few days without expanding. Did you just come out? Oh, you did. So you need cleaning, you you already getting cleaning, and you also need refueling and washing, but you're not going back out again today, so that's good. So let's do a refuel and a wash. Service center wait times is going down again. You're going to be going back out, so you need a clean on the inside. Like I said, I don't mind the outside getting a little bit dirty, but when it gets like about into the yellows or halfway, we will give it a clean. The line threes are actually stabilising. I say that as the majority of the majority of them are packed um but when we actually get more buses that take less time um that'll do what we need it to do um because obviously everyone's going now because they need to get to from there to there kind of thing um but if they don't need to get from there to there they can utilize another bus for those things. Like, there's 20 people waiting there. I don't know why. They could walk down and get the one somewhere else. Or when the four, four starts going this way, um, it'll alleviate, alleviate the some of the line three. And we have one here that's an hour behind. How? And 45 minutes behind. I think that is because we have to, we've been... Uh, oh, wow. There's one here that, that needs uh, everything doing to it. Okay, so we are getting some buses returning for the day. Okay. 
Okay. But everything is going good. Very nice. Let's get everything going faster. So the bus coming back for the day. Get that everything working. How much is the wait time? Five minutes is not bad. Not bad at all. Having these on the line one and two is working perfect. These obviously, like I say, will be three and four. Uh, we will get the line four up and running soon. Is that a bus coming back? Oh no, that's going to get cleaned. We had a bus here come back. Is that literally going straight back out? Yes, it is. So I'm not able to clean that because it was running late. And when these buses run late is when they run late again, which is not good at all. Oh, I've actually set that to clean and stuff, so. It's probably on me. That that's running late. Hmm. I'm going to have to start spreading them out again for what routes they go on and where. Because that is literally like an hour late now. Can we go out and see when this bus leaves the depot? Oop. Oh, it's already gone. I've already lost it. But yeah, add, increasing the bus network, like I say, will be going uh, the line four. We'll increase that. And to increase that, we literally will need nine more buses. So I'm actually going to do that right now. We've made 60k on the day. I'm going to go straight into buying nine buses. I don't have enough money. That's why I wanted to do the loan. Not going to do second hand, even though there's so many sec good second hand buses. Nine. So, eight, three, eight, three, eight, three. Eight, three, eight, three, eight, three. Import. There we go. We'll get all these numbered. So we're on to 14, so it'd be tops. C, 15. Tops, C, 16. C seventeen C eighteen C nineteen C twenty C twenty one C twenty two and there will be another one for a C23. And that should be all of them numbered. Yes. Perfect. So that means we can then build the line four for tomorrow. But until then, we need to get the rest of the buses back from the day. But having all these buses means a lot more. So. Let's pause this so I can 
go one, two, three. This was another one that's just come in. So pause it and go one, two. You came back in, so you got one, two, three. Any others? So they're all good. What I do need to do actually is make sure we've got enough replacement parts. So I like to keep five of each. So we have enough. Just in case any buses run out. Or or any issues with buses. Got another bus coming in. So I just need to clean on the inside and the outside. Another bus coming in. That needs uh, fueling and cleaning. And that is why I did this here, because obviously it ends up people getting to where they need to go. Okay, so all the cleaners are busy right now. That's not good. Have we already set that one? I think I have. So you need cleaning. You need washing and cleaning. I need to get on top of all these while also doing the new routes. So because no buses are going to go out, to, shouldn't go out today, we'll create the line for, we'll make it this purple color. Um, we'll start off here as we have done in the past. Did we add, a, is that another new bus stop? No, no, that's the, that is the same bus stop. So that'll be one, two, three, four. We'll go, like I say, we'll go up north first. This is the one that goes this way. And we'll go up here. And then as the line, when we get up to the top here, that's we don't need that one on. Okay, as that one goes up that way, we go up this way. Okay. And then this way. Yes, it goes up this side. to here and then it goes round this way and along the same route the three goes up this way and then it's this is where it, it terminates here but just for ease of use I'm doing it like this it can actually turn around that way. Can I delete the dunes and does it? Yeah. So I delete the. So it just turns around at here, and then Cleveland's is the turning point for it. Which is great. Then we go back down this way. This should create make it up to fifty one. And then it goes back around this way. All the way here. Uh, 
So people that are just going up to Cleveland's could get the line four now. We don't add that one on the bus. I I'm trying to cut the bus stops out because sometimes we're having too many bus stops on. And having the too many bus stops on the route is what caused the issue with the line three where I had issues with it and had to fix it. So it goes around there to there to here. And then this goes up this way. Uh, back around to there. To this way. No way back round town, but this time southbound. Library this way. This way. And then this way, instead of going down there, three goes. Gonna stop you, have a bus stop there. Nope, that's not going the way I want it to go. There we go. And you go down here to here. Oh no, I'm going the wrong way now. So it changes during the summer, this route. But I'm gonna do it as a, it goes this way, or, I, or well. I'm just saying it goes this way all year round uh, to make it simpler for me. That's not the way I want it to go. So we'll add it there. 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 And then it goes up here. Was it this one? No, it does. It is this way. So up here. And around. And we'll stop you here. I'll put one here just to make sure you go around that corner. And then one here. here up this way down this way yeah down this way down this way round to here up to here I'll add another bus stop there just so it catches that. And then here. And here. Is it going to route correctly? Yes, it is. And then I'll add it back onto these routes. Nope. So that goes there. Then it goes there. And then it goes this way. Perfect. And we'll start going back the way we came. So it will alleviate some of the issues with things but it'll work and these will just go around this way This way.
Yeah. And then it, to route it around this way, I'll do it over the road. Over here. Over here. And then, yeah, that works. Back around this way. Now, the reason I'm not doing it down here is because we do actually have another bus route that goes that way. That way. And I'm hoping this works if I do it that or that. Yes. So I'll do your bus stop there because you actually go around this way. Yeah. And then back into town. Back through this way. There. Back into there. And then the final stop is the stop where it started. And that is the line four. So it's a long route. Weekday one. How long is it total? Another near enough 120. So that's two hours. So... Where does this go? So first of all, we need to get to Cleveland's. Where we're going to add two second, two minutes. So it goes at the half hour. Get back into town. We've already gone past. Where is it? I'm getting confused now. There we go. It's best buy, isn't it, in town? Another two minutes, that'll be the hour. And then we'll look for there. So we'll do another two minutes there. So you literally get two hours round trip. So let's add another one, which will start at six and end at six. Because then the last bus will be at eight, technically. Weekday two. Add the times again. The first one is Cleveland's, add two. Next one is town, where we add two. Then we're at Tesco's, where we add two. It's got a minute. Uh, weekday three. So that'll be quarter past. Till... Where... What am I doing? Yeah, it's quarter past that one. Every hour. Add the times in. One, two. Pharmacy is at two. Best bites we did. Did we do Cleveland's? Two. There we go. Perfect. So weekday four now. So that'll be half past. Till half five. There we go. Put the timers back in. 
So first one is Cleveley's. Second one is Best Bites. Third one will be Tesco. And then it's there. And then last one, weekday four. It starts at quarter past. Till quarter past. Just check. The, we'll check the times of the bus times in a second. So first one, clearly. Second one. Best Bite, third one, Tesco. And then obviously, Weekend. We'll do it for the same time. We'll do them every 20. And then... Cleveland's. Best Bites and Tesco. Let's have a look at the preview timetable. So that is perfect. It goes all the way till... So after six, it's every hour. So it's usually six, seven, eight. So I need to add one bus going longer, I think, to add one in the middle. Sundays, that's fine. So I think it's the half an hour one. Let's add another hour and preview the timetable. If it adds one in the middle, which it does, that's exactly what I was wanting. Did it actually hang on? So it's 15, then 45. So with the 45, I need to add another another hour on as well. So the 45 doesn't... Yeah, so the 45, then it goes to every half an hour and then an hour. And that'll be confirmed. So that'll be our buses tomorrow. Now, we've got all these buses coming back now. So we need to make sure we're cleaning them. All our cleaners are busy. So I want to rush through these cleaners while also scheduling tomorrow's buses. So we'll automatically assign it and then we take them all off. So I automatically assign them because it automatically assigns the bus drivers and then I take them all off. And from that, we're taking them all off, we can then assign them the correct route. And we're back. So I've got everything scheduled for the line for all the buses. Means the small buses with the line three and the four, we actually have two left over from uh, the time before. I've tried to spread out the single deckers, the the longer bu long buses, long wheelbase buses, and we do actually have one bus remaining um, from them. But all the all the buses are now on route, which means I can turn that off. Um, we actually need to get all the buses cleaned up, ready for the next day. So 
So as all these busters are coming back in, see which ones need cleaning. Okay. Can we hire more cleaners? Real good reliability, no good reliability. That's just what we needed. Because this is one of the big tasks to do at the end of the day. Make sure all the buses are cleaned. All these should be fine. It's just these buses down here now. We have one that is very smelly there. Get that cleaned. Get that clean. That is very smelly. That's even worse. Right, that's all them done. Now, do I need to fuel or wash any of these? They're all above halfway with fuel. And washing. If they're below the halfway mark, they should all be fine because they're brand new. Um, so if they're below the halfway mark with fuel or washing, we will send them out. That one obviously needs both. This one needs both as well. So we'll get all these done. Seventy thousand on the day, so we are improving every day, and we now have the line th four routes that will start tomorrow. So, it's a very long journey right now to get all this done. The three and the fours are always going to be these buses. The one and the twos are doing fine with these buses. So the next bus will be the line five, which will be another one of these buses. Well, let's we get the double deckers. But to get double deckers, we need 300 points. And with all of this, the expanded of their seven, that'll be done soon as well. So we could actually make it there, to be fair. So that one then just needs refueling. But all the buses are scheduled for the next day. This one will get fueled. Once it's fueled, we'll skip to the next day. But we'll be doing that in the next video.